Hello friends, in this particular session, we will learn how to store data table in session. Sometimes there are situations when we need to store the whole data table in session. We will learn this by one example. Now let's see an example. Here, in this example, I have created one data table with two static values. Now I will debug a code for you. Here, in this example, I have created a data table named table employer that is written here. I have added two state, I, I added four columns in it that is employee ID, name, designation and department. I have added two static values in it. The first one is DR, data row DR and second record is data row DR1. These two values are added into a data table you can see two values are added in this data table these are two values of data table now i will store this data table into a session to store a data table value in session what we have to do is we have to write session variable for that we will write this session my data table i have created one uh, session variable named my data table and I have stored one data table and in it. If you want to, uh, you wanted to get data table dynamically, you can write dynamic data table here. Clear? Now we will redirect to the next page. Now when I will click on this button, it will redirect me to the next page. That is detail in session now on other page i want to retrieve the values or data table from it for that what i have to do is i will write i need to retrieve session value from it for that i will declare a data table here and get the session values from it now you can see here I got session values from the data table so here this complete example is only because of two concepts how we can store the data table value in session for that we have to write here session variable name is equal to data table clear and to retrieve the session value from data tables values from session we have to declare one data table and we have to cast that data table so that we have to write here in bracket data table and then session of my data table clear if you have any doubt about this video tutorial uh, you can mail me at drovinsha16 at gmail.com you can also download this practical from the link given in the description if you really like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel Thanks for watching my video.